we have Chateau Saint Michel Indian Wells 2007 Merlot, also from Columbia Valley. Um, it's also it says it's Washington State's founding winery. You see it on the bottom there. Founding winery, so the oldest one in Washington State. I would hope that means they know what they're doing and are creating a good product. 18 bucks, 14.5% alcohol. Let's see what's on the back. Our Indian Wells Series Wine Showcase Signature Fruit Forward Mouth Filling Style. Wines from this area are intensely ripe and boldly flavored. Jammy blackberry fruit scented with vanilla. This plush Merlot has a velvety texture and a rich garnet color. Nice bottle. 18 bucks, a little pricier than what I pay for something I'm going to drink regularly since, like I said, college student, not a lot of money, but not too bad. As long as it's under 20, I think it's affordable for most most college students, most people. Um, I can't the color way darker than the other one. Like on the edges, it's it's light red, but... After that, it's just pitch black. Cannot see through this at all. And again, you you always see black in the camera anyway, but whatever. A little thicker bodied looking. I can tell already the nose is going to be interesting because I'm getting it from here, so let's give it a smell. Mmm. This wine has some oak. And I say that not only because I'm getting the wood smell immediately, but vanilla, major, major vanilla coming out of this wine. Actually, in, in the wines that I've been um, tasting for the bottle review so far, I haven't had any vanilla really, maybe a little bit, but certainly not this strong of a vanilla. It's also very fruity. A little bit of cherry cranberry. But yeah, that vanilla and the oak is pretty dominating. I mean, I know there's fruit there and, and there's a fruitiness coming up, but it's hard to pinpoint what kind of fruit to narrow it down because I'm just getting oak and vanilla. And this may seem obvious to say, but you don't actually hear this described in, in wine a lot, but you smell like a, a, uh, you know, a fresh raw grape smell. Seems obvious, seems like every wine would smell like just the grape fruit before it's processed, but not all of them do. Oh yeah, yeah, the cranberry cherries coming out a lot stronger now. Very sweet, very, very sweet cranberry cherry. This is interesting. Vanilla fruity smell. I think this is gonna be good based off the nose, but let's give this let's give it a shot. Much more tannic, much drier, more tannic. More of an alcohol bite, which is met or followed by the strong tannins in there. Definitely feeling that on my teeth a bit. The vanilla comes out, comes out of the gate right away. And then you get that nice, all of the fruits that I smelled, the strawberries, the cranberries, the cherries, and the grape. And then it, and then it goes into oaky submission, like the whole finish, complete oak. Really oaky, in fact. One of the more woodier oaks that I've had. Like a lot of the uh, the oaked wines I've had, they come off as, you know, sort of more of a, a nutty than a woody flavor to me, but this is really woody, more woody than nutty. I love that, that fruity aroma. Like once you get this swirling, the fruit just leaps out at you.
Reminds me a little bit of this pipe tobacco I had once, which was a, a vanilla flavored tobacco, but it was really, really artificially vanilla flavored. Like box of yellow cake mix, open that up, smell it, that kind of artificial vanilla. And I get that a lot smelling and the first taste of this wine, that really big, strong vanilla, fake vanilla smell. But also there's that that bright red fruitiness, which I sort of got off the pipe tobacco too, that I get here. It's interesting because the three stages of, of the flavor of this wine, when it hits my palate, the mid palate, and the finish, they're all three completely different stages, you know? So again, you get, you drink it, you get vanilla, you get tannic, you get alcohol. It's right at the start. Mid palate, you get cranberries, you get cherries, you get grapes, but that doesn't last very long at all. And then it's oak, the whole finish. Bam, oak, the whole time I'm chewing on a piece of wood, kind of oak. Right now, it's still, I can still taste it. The finish lasts a really long time. Cranberries and oak. That's, that's the flavor right now. All cranberries and oak. More cranberry than oak at this point. A very interesting wine overall. I like the three-stage complexity of it. I really, really like the bouquet. I really like that nose, the aroma. It's very beautiful. I could see having this with a charred blackened steak or even like a well-done burger. I think that would go pretty good with this wine. I'm going to rate it. Oh, this is a tough one. I need one more taste because what I'm thinking of mostly for the rating is the 18 bucks because I'm not a big fan of that. So one more taste, then I'll decide how I, how I feel about the rating. That's the other thing is this wine is very inky at the start. When you're getting the those tannins and the alcohol, it just tastes very inky. Definitely a different experience than the other wine, than the Columbia Crest. But 18 bucks and nothing about it that sort of makes me go, ugh. I give it a B plus. It's not quite an A minus for me, just because of the price. If this was even $3 cheaper, this would be an A minus wine easily. But I don't see myself paying 18 bucks for something of this quality again, so. Yeah. The other interesting thing about um, this wine is that I can taste how Bordeaux's are really flavored by it. And definitely a lot of the, the Bordeaux's that I've had that I wasn't as much of a fan of have tasted like predominantly Merlot. So that's, that's something that I've learned that's very interesting is the Bordeaux's I don't like are mostly Merlot. So I should look for Bordeaux's that don't have a lot of Merlot in them. So I'm glad I got this. Um, Washington State Wines, very interesting stuff, very good stuff. Uh, it's a little different than what's coming out of California, but not too different. Um, uh, they're a fan of their oak, at least at Chateau, Chateau Saint Michel. They definitely like their oak there. So, yeah, this has been very fun um, with the whole the Twitter tie-in. So everybody go search Twitter for the W A Merlot tag, um, and then hello to everyone from Twitter. So here's what I want from everybody watching this video. That means you, every single person watching. Here's what I want you to do. I'm getting a lot of comments in email and IMs and on Twitter and Facebook and all of that about my videos, but I haven't gotten any comments posted directly on the videos. So I want you all to go to thebottlereview.com and I want you to comment on this blog post and I want you to tell me what I can do at thebottlereview.com and in my videos that would make it more useful and more interesting to you. That's it for now.
I look forward to seeing your comments, every one of you. Until next time, cheers.